ready? Yes. You gotta explain them, bro. I'm pretty sure they don't Alright, what's up guys? Today, um, we're doing some of the stuff I really hate doing, and that's um, some suspension work. So, I got these a while ago. I got some lower control arm bushings and some coilover bushings, lower bushings, and then two ball joints, because I was going to redo the whole suspension on my car in the front. Um, I retook out the passenger side to see how hard it was. The bushings are pretty worn out. This one just straight up fell out. As soon as I took it out, it just fell out. Um, the ball joints were really messed up. They just popped. So it's really messy. I already took this one out, so I'm going to take that one out and then see if it's any worse. And then we're going to throw the other bushings back on and it should hold an alignment now instead of being all white. I don't know if you can see it. Come here. I don't know if you can see it like right there. Like right up in here. This should be in the middle and it's like all over the place because the bushings are loose and they're clapped out. This is a common problem with like all G's and Z's and whatever. You know what I mean? Any, any like VQ. Even the ones that don't have a VQ, this is a really common problem for like Nissan and Infinity cars. So... That's obviously something I need to take care of. This fat one in the back is a 19, not on the back is also 19. Pretty easy stuff. Shouldn't be too hard. So there's that. What size is that one? It's a 17 on both sides. 17? Yeah, there you Nice. There you go, here. We might have broken a ratchet, but it works. We got it done. Almost, I guess. <laughs> Alright, there's that. Let me take out this bolt. I like to oh, fuck. I like to put the nuts back on. Makes it easier. What's next? Oh, that's it, huh? The last one, yeah. Let me take this one out. Cool. There you go. Try it. Oh, there you go. Maybe it does work. Maybe. Just maybe. Ta-da. Look how clapped out these ball joints are, man. Look, look that it should not be happening. <laughs> that, should, that should not be happening. Look at that. Should not be happening. Look at that. 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 What is up, friends? It is day numero dos. Um, working on the 350Z, doing some suspension stuff. Let me get out of the sun. Um, so, let me recap on where we are. Um, let me just recap. So, my boy Jared came over today. Um, I'll put his IG right here. He is two really cool Gs. You guys should check him out. If you guys are into Gs, he does drift, and, sh and one of them is really, really nice. So, you guys should go check him out. He helped me out. He we knocked it out pretty early in the morning. We were kind of pressed for time, so we made sure we knock it out quick. So, we, I couldn't able to, I wasn't able to record. Oh, you guys can't see me. Too dark. Anyways, we knocked that out. Uh, he helped me press the two bushings in. He helped me press the two ball joints in, and I'll show you the guys right now. For, for my ball joints, I didn't get anything too fancy. I just got some of these because they were cheap. Got them off Rock Auto. Super cheap. They were a little bit hard to slide in. My, my friend told me they were a little bit harder than some that are meant for 350Z, but they work nonetheless. I got some white line bushings for my, for my bushings. I got some white line stuff. Really good. Really, really good. Um, these are kind of like the ball joints on how they came out. Man, they were trash. Like this just fell out, as you guys saw. This just fell out of the control line. This is the rest of them just pushing them out. You know, it is what it is. You guys already saw like the control arm bushing. You guys ready to see the ball joints? I don't know if you guys are ready for this. Look at how trashed these are. Oops. Trying to get it to focus. Look how trashed these are, man. Look how trashed these were. Jesus. That's one. This is the other one. Look how trashed they were, man. No wonder this car sucked at cornering, but now it's going to be a beast. I'm so excited to drive it, guys. Can't tell you guys how excited I am. Sucks that I can't drive it, but when it comes out, it's going to be a beast again. So look forward to that. Ball joints in. 
right there you guys can see it these don't, don't these don't come pre-filled so i do need to fill them up as soon as i get a chance this is what the little control arm looks like <coughs> sorry looks pretty good but they're really fat like the bushings are really fat like i i, I like look how fat that is they're pretty fat i really gotta like jam this in there to make it fit but that's just even better because now when i get in alignment it'll hold it just put this, get in there get in there now when i hold an alignment it'll actually hold it you know There we go. That was easy. Not too bad. Woo! There we go. There we go. I'm not gonna lie, this went by a lot faster than when I put the other side on. This took me literally like like one fourth of the time that took me, man. And like literally everything's on already. I just need to tighten it down. Like that's crazy. Like how does that even happen? And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, the arms are in. Let me see. Focus. Come on. Focus. All right. I did like uh, wire brush these. That's why they look cleaner than like the rest of the suspension. I did wire brush these. Since I did take them off and I didn't want to put them back looking all nasty. <coughs> Excuse me. But look how good that looks. Well, I guess it doesn't really look that good, but come on, fuck. There you go. Bushings are in. That thing is not gonna move anymore. Look at that. That thing is not gonna move. These are really those. Those are a common issue on G's. G's, G's, G's. Every Conic VQ. That's a pain. That's a, that's a, that's something that always goes on all of them. This one not so much. I just decided to get it since I was already taking it off, and I do not want to take this arm off again. So there's this side. This is the side I did earlier. Already tightened down and everything looks good. Yes. Now this car will properly hold an alignment. I'm really excited about that. This car's coming together. It's still in like a thousand pieces, but it's coming together very nicely. Very excited about where we're going, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting closer and closer. There's another thing crossed off from the list. Another thing we don't have to worry about. Waiting on a few more parts to put in this car and we'll see. So my birthday is actually January 11th, so that's kind of my deadline for this. I would like to drive this on my birthday if I can't. That's perfectly fine, it's normal. But if I can't, like that's my deadline. I wanna make sure this car runs by that date. So this was one of those things I did not wanna do, but I ended up doing it. So thanks to Jared, uh, Elegant, shout out to you. You're the homie, you're the plug. Coming through clutch, appreciate you brother. What else? What else do you guys want? I mean, what else do you guys want to see on this car? Like, well, let, let me know what you guys want to see. I'm gonna do some more suspension stuff, just not right now. This is just something I needed to do so that it will hold an alignment. But I got some more interesting, cool ideas for like suspension and whatnot. But because I, I don't want to get too crazy with it now that it's down. But let me know in the comments what you guys want to see. What else do you guys want to see? Like, who do you guys want me to race more? Do you guys like you want to see more stuff like this? Like, what do you guys want to see? Like, let me know. We'll try to make it happen for you guys. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Appreciate. Thank you guys for watching. All right, I'm out. I'm gonna do some more stuff on the car, so...